46. The Death of Herod Agrippa I One of the Bible's most dramatic stories is in Acts 12, 20-23. King Herod Agrippa I declared himself to be the true Messiah and dressed himself in silver cloth, so that when he appeared publicly, the sunlight was reflected in a dazzling manner. The people hailed him according to both Acts and Josephus as a god, and their flatteries were shouted with enthusiasm and vigour. In that same hour, Herod was struck down by God and soon died an agonising death. History records a further fact which Acts does not mention. The proud troops of Herod, who had grown powerful and prosperous under Herod, now turned on him. The soldiers and civilians, who had very recently hailed him a god, now sacked his palace, seized his two young daughters, Marianne, aged ten, and Drusilla, six, raped them repeatedly, and started a wild general celebration with the loot from the palace. Herod had been a crowd-pleaser. He had rebuilt cities, public buildings and other facilities, had spent money liberally for the general welfare, had been very favourable to his troops. None of Herod's public works had altered the fact that he was essentially a tyrant. All the cheers and flattery the mob and the troops had given Agrippa I were only because they believed that Herod Agrippa alive meant more handouts. Herod Agrippa dead meant no more handouts, and they proceeded to ravage the palace and its daughters in a vicious and degenerate orgy. He gave not God the glory, Luke says of Herod Agrippa, Acts 12.23. Herod's policy had been directed toward establishing his own glory, and with his public works and welfare policy, to make the people ready to proclaim him the Messiah as against the crucified Jesus. For one brief day the mob shouted, saying of Herod Agrippa, It is the voice of a god and not of a man, Acts 12.22, and God struck him down. The false messiahs get both the evil crowds and also judgment. The Herods of our world have no future. Do you?